again. It's us! Bet you're sorry to see us again, but we're gonna make you not regret your life choices leading you up to this point with chicken. Professor Hotchkiss's all-you-can-eat fried chicken drumsticks. Cook, cook! Would you like to explain the simple steps we are about to take? So, simple steps. First off, we have some chicken that has been marinating and pickle juice since. This is a side step you do not have to do, but we do like this step. So if you have some dill pickles, eat up a bunch of pickles, save the juice, and when you have about three cups or so of pickle juice, stick it in a, in a pot or other container. That way you just show it to people. I want to spill some pickle juice. Yummy. Yes, it's hard to Ooh. see from a single. Hold it right there, I'll tilt the camera. There's pickle dun, juice dun, in there. Dun, dun, dun. It smells the pickle juice. I don't smell the raw Bring it closer. Here we go, look at that. So this chicken has been marinating overnight in pickle juice. Like we said, this is an optional step, but it'll give your chicken a nice pickly flavor. So. So we've got this chicken. And then we're gonna put it in some breader. This is what we have. You don't have to use. You this can more. use whatever chicken breader you want, but this is what we happen to be using today, just because it's what we normally use. So we're gonna coat it all up in that stuff. All right. Do you think you can safely take that and put it in here without making a mess? We went ahead and put some breader in a bowl. You can use a Ziploc bag though. Well. Let's do two for now since we can't fit more than that in the fryer. We have a tiny fryer. You'll also want to make sure that you go ahead and have your oil nice and screaming hot first. Screaming hot. So put it in your container. Shake it up. Ooh, I got to get it all nicely breaded. Beautiful chicken. And we're going to go ahead and start frying it in this hot oil. It's a very, very easy recipe. We're just frying chicken and we're calling it a recipe. If you don't happen to have a fryer, you can totally fry this on the stove, which we probably should have done because this is gonna take forever. But my sister got a fryer recently, so we wanted to use it this way. Anyway, this is gonna take about 10 to 15 minutes in here, so we're just gonna cut this off for now. Go longingly watch our chicken fry, and we will return in about Post 10 15 minutes. Post haste. Disney princess if I wasn't a brunette. You're saying Disney princesses are never brunette? None of the good ones. Hello, we're back and we have six beautifully golden brown drumsticks mm. on this plate with some pickle slices. Unfortunately, it's not Hotchkiss's full 50, but we figured that would take a while to do in our little fryer. Still, doesn't that look good? Um, one thing that I do recommend, get a cooking thermometer. It'll make things a little bit easier just because then you know that your chicken's cooked to a safe temperature. Chicken drumsticks can be a little bit tricky. The nice thing about this is that it does have on the case the recommended temperatures listed so you can just look at that to refer. I got this at Walmart but you can get these at pretty much any store. And that's really my one side note. Oh, I told you like it. No, 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 no. So the Way. Use a napkin. I did tell her I didn't do it this time, but um, next time just to see how it is. I usually have a jar of jalapeno slices in the fridge, like you get in the pickle aisle. And I think next time I want to try, in addition to the pickle brine, adding like a quarter to a half cup of the jalapeno juice as well to make it like a spicy pickly flavor. So just an idea if y'all try this recipe and like it and want to try it again. Mm. I'm very impressed with Hotchkiss's ability to eat 50 drumsticks. It is very delicious and you can't eat pickle. And we don't even have half-hearted praise from you today. Whereas sometimes you're just like, mm. this is good. On a side note, we did get bored of waiting for all of this chicken to fry in that tiny fryer. So. We made little chocolate cakes in between. 
so it took a while. We'll be back again and eventually with another Nancy Drew recipe. And until then, we are going to sit here and gorge ourselves on the rest of this amazing fried chicken. Bye!